And then, Checkers and Snoozer arrive in the Arctic. They are helping penguins cross the river and get them to the North Pole. Oh, great. Another cold place. Yahoo! It's so pretty and beautiful. And wait, who's that? Polar Bear! Ah! Oh, he's not so bad. Oh yeah, I remember this. So we're in Polar Bear, and that's the game where we need to get the penguins across from one side to the other so they can get to the North Pole. Yes! That's what I said! But then, Dr. Devious and Deceiver arrive, and Checkers and Snoozer have a game. Oh no! It's my arch nemesis! Dun dun dun! And now that we're all here, how about a game? Hmm? I'll take black, DCVR here will take green. If our penguins cross the river first, you will give me your expander. You know how much I want one. On your mark. Get set! Go! And the race begins! Four! Yes! They are racing to see who gets their penguins across first. But they have to avoid a polar bear that wants to eat the penguins. What are you looking at me for? Okay, snoozer. Let's win this. Keep going, checkers! All right! We're in the lead! Time for pickup! Checkers and Snoozer do really well! Nice roll! They get all their penguins across first! They made it! Just one more to go! This is ridiculous! is a sore loser and he leaves his penguins out there stranded. And now that the game is over, those poor little penguins, they're out there all alone. There's no one to see. Ta -ta. Yikes. So Checkers and Snoozer have to save the day. I've got an idea. Snoozer, use your vacuum to shoot the penguins out over the water. I'm confused. Bring them in and then shoot them out towards me. I'll catch them. Okay. Woo! Nice throw, Snoozer. Whoop, whoop. Whoa. Whew. Slow it down a little bit. Snoozer, get more arch on your throws. I think the polar bear is catching on. Ready, 45, set, hunt. Got it. Touchdown. game snoozer wow i really like this game polar dare it's a lot of fun i like board games a lot like candy land and shoots and ladders and that's all i know how to play i want to learn about how to play other games though like chess and checkers checkers are you named after checkers no no snoozer at least i don't think so anyway snoozer if you don't know how to play chess we should probably do something about that shouldn't we yeah maybe we can learn about games today Snoozer, you took the words right out of my mouth. That's exactly what we're going to do today on our reading road trip.
seat belt. Check. Back up. Check, check. All right, snoozer. Ascending in three, two, one. And we're off. Autopilot activated. So where are we going today? Well, Snoozer, I've got a great day planned full of lots of fun. I thought we'd learn about games and toys based on what we were playing with earlier. And I've got just the thing we're going to do. Let me pull up the map. We are headed to the woods right near Music Mountain. We're going to pick up some games and then head right back here to play them. Along the way, we're going to do a craft with your teacher, Mrs. Hamilton. We're doing all things I like today. Yes, Snoozer, we really are, aren't we? Hey, look! Here come the books! Okay, let's check out a couple. What'd we get, checkers? Here you go, Snoozer. Sidewalk Games Around the World by Arlene Erlbach and Games Learn to Play, Play to Win by Daniel King. Super. Well, look at the cover there. I spot a lot of different games, but I also spot a chess piece. This book is full of details about popular games you may have heard of and some you may not have heard of. The book teaches us all about these games with background information and then it gives us strategies about how we can play the game well so we can challenge our friends. Games are just like anything. The more we practice and learn, the better we get. So this book is jam-packed with things to learn about, and we may want to read through it a few times, especially if we find a certain game that we want to become great at. Well, there are so many games in here. I just want to learn about chess. Yeah, and you can do that, Snoozer. If you want to focus on one game and become really great at it, that's great. Or you might want to become more well-rounded and be able to play a lot of games. So it's really up to you. And hey, while we're talking about games and stuff, I also want to talk about toys, because I want to learn a little bit about toys today, too. And that is why Mrs. Hamilton has a craft all about one of the greatest toys ever. And I can't wait to talk about it. Let's bring on Mrs. Hamilton right now and see what craft she has for us. Hey, Snoozer, how you doing? Great! Great to hear. Wow, since we're talking about toys today, I thought we would make a jack-in-the-box craft. So you are going to be needing these two sheets. And we're going to make our very own jack-in-the-box. So as long as you have glue and a black marker or crayon and some scissors, we'll be all set to go. So I'm going to get working. All right, now to try and put everything together and get it set up. It's gonna be the Jack in the Box neck, hat, that. I think I'm good to go. So, I'm going to draw some black dots in the middle of my eyes. Okay. I guess I'll start with the hat. I think I'm all finished. How do you like my Jack in the Box? Let's see yours. Here's my Jack in the Box. Oh, Snoozer, I just love your creativity. You really make things your own. All right. Well, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, boys and girls. Would you like to do the Mrs. Hamilton craft just like me? Guess what? You can. Head 
to your local library for all the materials that we use in the craft. Plus, we have activity sheets, games, and a whole lot more. Your library might even have their very own schnauzer. Come and see me. Anyway, back to the show. Look, checkers. How do you like my Jack in the Box? Wow, man, snoozer, that really came together. I didn't know how that would turn out, but I think it turned out really well. Me too, and I made it a snoozer in the box. Didn't miss that, snoozer. Anyway, book two is about sidewalk and outdoor games. But the cool thing is, this book gives us games from all over the world. Games that come from other cultures. We get to learn about which countries the games came from and unique things about them. And that is great, because learning about this stuff makes playing the games a lot more fun, and we can have more of an appreciation for them. Plus, you can introduce one of these games to your friends, and you will have special knowledge about the game and where it comes from. And that is pretty cool. Yeah, I never really think about where games come from, but there is a whole book about it. Who knew? I know, it's really great to find a book you didn't know there was a book about, you know? And the more you learn about stuff like this, the more fun it is. Anyway, Snoozer, I think we've just arrived here. So let's park down here in the woods and get our games delivered to us. Oh wow, that was fast! And there it is, chess. And that, snoozer, is how you play chess. Sorry if I was a little bit long-winded, but you know, I want to make sure you get the full picture because I've got a little bit of experience myself and got to make sure it's fair. All right, I'll go first and then you can go. I'm going to put that pawn right there. All right, snoozer. What do you want to do? Hmm, I'm confused. <laughs> You're confused? All right, what are you confused about, snoozer? Look, you've got these pawns here. Which pawn do you want to move? No. Anyway, I'm bored now. You're bored? Snoozer! <sighs> Alright, just lovely. Really glad I spent the past 40 minutes explaining this game to you, Snoozer. Alright, maybe chess is a little bit too complicated, but that's alright. You'll catch on eventually. Anyway, we don't have to worry about chess because we've got more important things to learn about. Really cool, exciting things are upcoming in the next few weeks, which means we've got new places to go, new things to learn about, and most importantly, new books to read on our upcoming Reading Road Trips. <laughs>